Hi Erin, this is a general tarot reading having a look into who is potentially coming in for you, who is soulmate quality if this person is around you now, what sort of characteristics, features, uh, personality, attributes they'll have. Um, so this is for those wanting to have a look at that. Let's get straight into it Aries, who is your soulmate? Who's coming in around you Aries? Who is your soulmate? Okay, this card wants to stick out a little bit. All right, purity. Wow, this is someone coming in with pure intentions. The dates that resonate with the Priestess of Purity are October 28th to November 24th. I feel like this person has probably not experienced anything as significant as the connection they'll share with you. I feel like to be pure is to be innocent of a lot of things. And I feel this person hasn't connected with anybody on this kind of level before. And I think when this person comes in around you, I think you'll know they're a good person. I think they hold true to their beliefs, to their morals, to their traditions. I feel like they could also not have lived as many lifetimes because I, feel, I still feel like they're pure of living a lot of lifetimes or experiencing a lot of things. Uh, so this is really exciting with the Priestess of Purity. It shows that someone is pure in intentions, has a pure soul. Um, maybe they've been hurt or maybe they just carry a lot of innocence or purity or even like a childlike state to um and this doesn't mean they're childlike it just means that they're still learning about themselves um, about their direction where they want to head in life etc uh, but this is something that's very real there's no pretense there's no falsity with this person with the priestess of purity okay the priestess of good fortune I feel like this person has been very lucky in life, maybe. Uh, I feel like they might be really successful. They might have wealth around them. The Priestess of Good Fortune could also indicate they bring out the best in a situation. They really try to take in the, the positivity. They try to maintain a good outlook in life. I feel like they're just a joy to be around with the Priestess of Good Fortune. I think they the reason why they attract such good things in their life is because of their outlook, because of who they are, because of the mentality they maintain. I also feel like there's good things destined for them in their life, whether it's fame, whether it's fortune, whether it's success, whether it's being known for something, being specialized in a certain field. I feel like they're destined for good fortune and I think the two of you could share this good fortune together. So for some of you, you do have a soulmate that's coming in with a lot of fortune around them. They're very blessed. <clears throat> Okay, the Priestess of Strength, the dates that resonate are June 10th to July 7th. This could be the dates that you meet. These dates may be significant around this person. The Priestess of Strength is someone who is mentally and physically strong. Someone who is strong in character, determined in will, focused in life, and very, very ambitious. They could have an emphasis on working with people to improve their mental strength or their physical strength in psychology. Um, in personal training it could even be that they have just such an uplifting nurturing side to them that gives other people strength and it's almost like they're a rock or they're an anchor so for you Aries this could be your knight in shining armor this could be the person that really although you're very strong in character already just brings out even more of that in you and this would indicate a lot of compatibility between the two of you because you could bounce off each other because you both provide strength towards each other you're both providing each other with stability, um, to be anchored. So I love this. I love what this represents, and I think there's a very strong connection between the two of you, clearly, because the strength is surrounding the both of you here, especially this person. Okay, the Priestess of Patience, April 15th to May 12th. Priestess of Patience shows this person exercises a lot of patience or there's something about a wait for the, you have to wait for this person to come in. I feel like it might take a little bit longer for some of you because the patience card is here. Now, whether this indicates that you need patience, you know, it's a virtue, there's honorability in patience, you need to wait for this person to come in or there's something about a waiting game around this soulmate. Now, this could mean some of you have already met this person and they're already in your life and you feel such a strong connection already. The Priestess of Patience could indicate that right now the two of you are not ready to be in an existing relationship together because of certain situations or exterior 
influences. This could indicate this person is currently in a relationship, could also indicate this person is right now maybe concentrating on work, on building their fortune. I feel like there's some sort of, I wouldn't say block, I just think it's more of a weight or that it's sort of like a, um, a transition period that needs to take place before the two of you come together with the Priestess of Patience. But I think this is also a quality this person has and this person will exhibit when the two of you are together. Patience in confrontations, patience in making decisions. Um, and I think this will be someone who will be very, very good for you in that aspect, Aries. Okay, let's have a look at the next cards. Aries, who is your soulmate? Okay, this card's sticking out here. What do we have? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, now the Knight of Wands is a mover. The, fa the, the Knight of Wands is a fast traveler. They're a journey um, person. It's something about departure, swift energy, news, and a message. For some of you, this person is on some sort of journey, whether this is a physical journey or an emotional journey. I feel like they're coming in quite quickly. I feel like they're entering your life quite quickly. You'll have to wait until you can be in a relationship, I think. But for the most part, this soulmate is coming into your life quite quickly with the Knight of Wands. And they're a person of movement. So as much as they exercise patience or they're very um, maybe a little bit slow in their decision making. Once they make a decision, they follow through with it, Aries. They're, they're one to chase their dreams. They're one to implement action. They're a person of action. So they'll want to see things flourish between the two of you. For some of you, this is a foreign person, a person that's journeying from a different country, city, state, maybe journeying from a different sort of life. There's something about journeying and transition that's surrounding this person, or it could be you. You could be experiencing this sort of time of journeying and transition, and then this person shows up into your life. Could be a fire sign here, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay, the Nine of Chalices. Nine of Chalices is bliss. This is a very high energy frequency. This is feeling a lot of joy, internal joy, happiness, fulfillment, and positive energy. I feel like this person, for those that feel like they've lost purpose or they've lost meaning to love, I feel like this person, this soulmate, when they're going to come into your life, they're going to just really fill that void, Aries, that some of you may have had. Some of you don't. Some of you have a healthy relationship with love and the and your perception of love, etc. But this person is going to bring you a lot of inner happiness and not just happiness with the exterior, inner happiness. And this is definitely something more spiritual. This is spiritual enlightenment. And this is what this person is going to offer you in your life. This is the real deal. This is falling in love, head over heels, happy, can't live without this other person type of love. This is this is something really real for a lot of you. Okay, the wheel, the wheel of fortune. Wow, this is beautiful. Something about cycles. Possibly the two of you have already shared some sort of connection in your past life, past life cycles. You've been on a cycle together already. Now, for some, this could translate in you've, you're you already friends with this person or you already know this person. There's something about a cycle that has come to fruition already or that will be coming to fruition very, very soon. This is the wheel. This speaks about eternity. So for, for some of you, this person is... This soulmate of yours is not just going to come into your life and leave. For a lot of you, this person is going to spend the rest of their life with you, vice versa, and possibly in another lifetime. It's a fated meeting. This person is destined to be in your path. I feel like you're moving towards them. This is all about motion. The wheel is here, which symbolizes a lot of things. It symbolizes creation. It symbolizes eternity. It symbolizes um, cycles. It symbolizes things moving moving in cycles though this is coming in around this person with the wheel here this is something really spiritual aries some of you might not really be believers in this but i looking at these cards here this just speaks volume of volumes of a past life or metaphysical connection with this person that you already share Now, I'm not sure if this person is currently going through a cycle. There is two devils present here, and then we see this what looks like 
I suppose, an, an ancient Babylonian or Egyptian um, sphinx figure here up the top, a zoomorphic entity up the top here. Um, but it's so steady on this wheel. Look at this. I feel like there's either competition, when this person comes into your life, there's competition from other people to be with this person, or there's some sort of toxic um, toxic behavior, toxic people this person is getting rid of. I feel like this person is entering a healthy cycle, um, getting rid of that with the wheel and vice versa. Maybe, you know, this will bring the two of you together. This is a very um, whirlwind romance here. Queen of Chalices, this is powerful. This is wisdom, emotion, growth, and foresight. Something about premonitions, dreams, visualizations is connected with this person. You might dream about them. They might be a friend or you might know them. They might even be a work associate, but you'll dream of them in some sort of circumstance where you'll know that they're your soulmate or you'll have a premonition or you'll have an intuition or a hunch or a visualization about them. But I feel with the Queen of Chalices, this is wisdom and foresight. I feel like you'll see into your future with this person somehow, or they'll see their future with you. So again, this is something that's this is something really metaphysical that's bringing the two of you together with the Queen of Chalices. This is definitely love, definitely strong commitment here. Wisdom, wisdom in love, learning about love and emotional growth. Possibly a lot of hurdles. Um, trials and tribulations but you will come out stronger you know you'll get rid of the devils you get rid of this toxic toxicness around you or around the relationship and queen of chalices wow this is powerful you'll come out on top this is foresight emotional growth you'll learn about a lot about this person a lot about yourself aries okay the high priestess this is pregnancy here planting the seed Again, a um, metaphysical entity here with the High Priestess. This person could be quite religious or spiritual themselves. I feel like for some of you, this is the key to your meeting or the key to your future is spirituality or religion. So whether you're both really religious, for example, if you're both really Catholic and this brings the two of you together and this gives you a solid foundation to build your relationship on, great. For some of you, it's just energetic. It's chemistry that you'll build this relationship on. For others, it's spirituality, a very strong karmic energy or connection with each other that you will build a solid foundation on and you'll complement each other very well in this regard because you share that commonality with each other. For some of you, it's someone you've already had a child with or someone you will have a child with. This person is your soulmate. They're coming in with children around them with the pomegranate seeds uh, or they work with children. They're very good with children. Um, you know, they could be very paternal. They could be very maternal, but you'll see this in them with the high priestess. I feel like this person is coming into your life very, very soon. Okay, wow, look at this, two of cups. This has come up for a few signs. Um, so you might want to have a look, some of you Aries might want to have a look at the other signs that received this. I think some are on the thumbnail that I've posted. But the Two of Cups, this is a wonderful engagement together. This is engagement, this is marriage. But I see this person already in your life or you're meeting them very, very soon. It could definitely be this year, something about a cycle. So it could be as the years transit. So it could be in that December, possibly January, February period as well. It could be in the Chinese New Year too. But um, I feel like you know, the two of you are connecting in just such a beautiful way here with the Two of Cups. This is as honest and as pure as it can get, Aries. This person is, but I think they're really, they're, they're coming in around you now. So I'm not sure if you've already been dreaming about them or you know who this person is already or you already, this person is in the physical life for you already. You work with them, they live in your street or something. Or this person is someone you've conjured up in your fantasy or conjured up in your thoughts and you know this person is out there. You're just waiting for them to show up. And I think they are. I think they're definitely coming into your life. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Strong fire energy. You have a Leo here. Strong fire energy. Someone who's quite dominant, as I said, um, makes changes for themselves. I feel like they've done a lot for themselves because of their action, because of their thought, uh, because of their forethought, because of who they are. I feel like they're they're really placed in your path and they're hard to avoid somehow. So I feel like you almost can't break away from this person because they keep coming back. Maybe if they're an ex, they keep coming back or they keep showing up into your life. But the Ace of Wands, this is again, this is a higher power. A lot some of you could be ignoring this person, but I'm I'm almost inclined to say that this person is just someone who you're meant to be with. 
it's just wow this is powerful with the ace of wands it's action it's divine opportunity I really feel like something metaphysical will bring the two of you together. They're very active. This person is very active. So you might notice that they travel a lot or journey a lot or are just very outdoorsy, outgoing or have a lot of energy even. Okay, Seven of Cups. This person is someone you've definitely been dreaming about trying to manifest or bring about into your physical experience. I feel like this person is coming in at a time where you'll be ticking off a lot of things on your bucket list or in your wish list of life with the seven of um, the seven of cups. It could be scattered energy, but I don't think so. I think everything is aligning very, very nicely. For some of you, things are definitely happening behind the scenes. I think you might be doing other things on your agenda, Aries, but this person is coming in. Seven of Cups, surprises, news, this person is, you're going to achieve a lot with this person and vice versa. Let's have a look around the time frame that you'll meet. What sort of energy will you be entering into when you meet this person? Okay, integrity. It's go, you're going to be meeting at a time of either self-re-evaluation, um, education, balance. When you're in balance, when you're in harmony with other people, with other relationships or with other aspects of your life. It's all about harmony and balance with the priestess of integrity and self-evaluation. When there's a shift with either your attitude, your perception, your internal way of thinking, Aries, this is when this person is going to come into your life because they're just as balanced as you. So not that you're imbalanced now. For some of you, you might be focused on one thing more than the other. I feel like there's something about a balance that needs to happen is when this person is going to come in into your life with the priestess of integrity. I also feel like it's something about decision making when you're confident, when you become confident or really sure in your decision making, then this person is going to show up into your life. And I think they're going to mirror this positive attitude that you will have Aries. So I hope this reading has been enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching.